the Tony Collector fans, flyguy 4 tixushicom Another Marvel Legends figure in the Marvel Legends Infinite series. This is from Amazing Spider-Man 2, and this is Electro. Let's get a look at that in just a sec. This is the packaging, and as you can see, nice little touches on there. There's some laminate uh, done for the Spidey logo. And down at the bottom, the packaging behind the uh, the figure is really not much going on. But nice, kind of shiny, reflective Marvel Legends Infinite Series logo down there. And it just says Marvel's Electro. There's the details on uh, the bottom of the pack. I love how it says distributed in Australia, except we don't get them in Australia. Uh, or no plans to get them. Maybe with a movie we may, but... Uh, yeah, I would struggle to get these if it wasn't for the guys at Dorf Sick Toys where I bought this. And if you want to buy it from them, there's a link directly underneath the package. Very well and very grateful because I've got all the wave and already pre-ordered the uh, follow-up wave of Captain America and Spider-Man 2. So a nice picture there, of a nice reflective picture of the electrical figure. It's in text if you want to read that. And there's some other figures. Now this figure does come with a part to build a figure, uh, Green Goblin. I'll show you the Green Goblin at the very end rather than just show you a leg or an arm. I'll show you the Green Goblin as a separate overall figure and we'll give it a proper review. There's all the other figures in the wave. Uh, apart from Toxin and Boomerang we and Spider Girl, uh, or Spider Woman I should say, uh, they are wave 2. All the others will be reviewed in our channel, so definitely check them out. You will uh, find a playlist and more information at uh, youtube.com slash tixushi. That's the packaging. Nice little uh, detail on the side of the box there from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Nice uh, drawing done there, and that's the packaging. Now before we get to Electro, it comes with a couple of spare bits and pieces. You'll see on the figure, one thing I have is there's two sets of hands which uh, provide this kind of... Uh, Kind of like the Emperor from Star Wars, we get this electro uh, shock uh, hand uh, shooting at electricity. It looks like he's got very long fingernails, really, but uh, nice translucent plastic. So that's one set of hands that you can swap out and basically have electro shooting ele electricity out of his fingertips. Um, and it's okay, it's not so bad. I just decided not to have both hands shooting that out. So the other alternative you have is closed fists. So eh, it's kind of limited in a little bit. So. Uh, and as you can see, the figure is a very bright blue underneath, so uh, that's blue painted black. So that's the options you get. You also get a swappable head with Electro. And as you'll see in a minute, the one that I've got on him is basically the same as this, but it's shooting el electricity out of his eyes. So nicely detailed. It looks like the blue man grip there. Uh, very blue indeed, with that little uh, effect down at the bottom of the uh, kind of electronics that he has on his... Uh, head there that we get to briefly see in the trailer for the movie. So yeah, not a lot going on there. But again, that's the plain vanilla kind of head, I guess. And this is the one on him, which uh, is slightly different. And that is that electricity popping out the eyeballs. So it's quite a nice look, nice effect. Uh, this figure has had some very nice paintwork done to it. There's a beautiful blue shine that goes across all of the figure. Uh, nicely sprayed on there. Uh, appears on the arms, the forearms. Little touches of silver paint have also been applied, which is quite nice. You can see that then at the tops of the thighs down there. On the thigh piece, uh, I should say there. Uh, uh, where are we? There. There we go. Just there. And uh, also down at the knees. So he's got some uh, silver paint applied down there too. Other than that, he's pretty much a black figure all over. Uh, nice detail on the suit though. It's a new sculpt as far as I can tell. There's nothing we used. And uh, cool little kind of like mines or detonating kind of mines. That's what it looks like on his uh, shoulders. You'll see that detail up there as well. And a nice kind of silver touch around the back of the neck there for that collar that holds, I guess, uh, some kind of a meaning that we'll see more in the movie. But nice uh, detail again, those kind of mine-like effects on the back of it. So it's a very cool little suit. Really, really like it. Good sculpt. Uh, it's not the most exciting figure in the collection. That definitely goes to Carnage in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But a nice effect overall. And uh, look, we get to see the movie. It will uh, may well become more relevant, a little bit more detailed once we see more about Jamie Foxx's character and what he gets up to and so forth. So far, so the trailer, the Super Bowl trailer we posted the other day on TechSushi.com, Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and all that stuff. Um, did show Jamie Foxx being a very kind of um, quiet guy. Gets to meet Spider-Man, and just because Spider-Man doesn't remember him properly or his name, he suddenly decides to hate the guts out of Spider-Man. So 
Not the uh, greatest motivation of a character to kick his ass, but uh, eh, we'll wait and see what the movie does. So, a good figure overall, lots of articulation on him. As you can see on the back of the head there, we've got a ball joint with a hinge uh, rocking on that translucent head. Kind of makes for a weird effect, as you can see there. There's basically a huge big gap at the back of the neck, so a bit odd. But uh, it does the job. So, ball joint with a hinge up there. Got a ball joint with a hinge at those shoulder sockets, which leads on to a swivel bicep. You can see the double joints at the knees there. Sorry, the, the knees, the uh, elbows. Uh, we don't have a swivel. It looks like it should be a swivel, but it's definitely not. If he double checks, no, it's not. No swivel kind of a forearm, but you do get that uh, angle. What am I on today? The uh, it's like 40 degrees Celsius here today. So trust me, I'm sweating. Maybe that's for my reason for not remembering. He has swivel wrists and also has those double pivot uh, wrists, which um, are pretty damn good. You can see that as an alternative on this hand. If I tilt that up there, you'll see the uh, little hinge underneath. He's also got a pretty cool kind of clicking uh, upper kind of ab crunch there, and he's also got a swivel there too. You'll see the uh, pins up at the tops of those thighs, uh, give it a ball joint with a hinge. You've got a swivel on the tops of the thighs, double joints on those knees, and he's got uh, rocking ankles. Now the rocking ankles are a little bit limited because of the kind of trouser or boot down at the bottom that you'll see there, so there's a bit of limited movement. Some very nice detail, and of course, peg on the bottom, which I would just love if Marvel would give us some stands for these figures. Definitely stay tuned to NECA. We were talking to them on Twitter not that long ago, and they did confirm with us as well that some of these stands will be available globally. So not only stores like Dorkside and uh, uh, Amazon, I guess, and all these other places will have them, uh, so you can buy them, and they fit, I believe, Marvel Legends 2. So hallelujah, we may get some decent stands. So like, I really like this figure. I really do like the, uh, the nice touch there with the eyes with the electricity coming out. It uh, makes a little bit of a difference to me. The light just really catches it well. The blue paint's done well. The silver's done well. I think this is a good figure. Standard is six inches tall. It's definitely one uh, I like. And if you want to buy it, well, again, there's a link directly underneath the guys at DorksideToys.com. Check them out. And uh, a great bunch they are. Also underneath, you'll find uh, links to underneath the electricity under there. You'll find links to Twitter and Google Plus and uh, Instagram and all that stuff, Facebook and so forth. But what do you think of Electro? I don't know a great deal about Electro, it has to be said. Seeing the old comic book version of the yellow crazy suits, uh, yellow and green, really never did it for me. But um, I'd love to know if there's some good comics out there. Always in the hunt for good uh, paperbacks or good stories that I may have missed out on. So if you know and you're a real fan of Electro, let me know. But what do you think of this one? Do you uh, do you like this electro? I said I like the blue. It's a cool looking colour, that's for sure. But uh, thoughts, comments, we'd love to hear what you want to think about this figure, good or bad. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and you will get all of our cool videos the minute they get in our little hands. That's it. One more figure to come from this uh, wave to review. And that will be coming up real soon. We'll see you for that review in just any minute. See ya.